Our other big story this evening today marks five days of protests across the country in support of George Floyd. This is a live look from Fowler Avenue right here in Tampa, where huge crowds gathered today demanding justice for Floyd. Protesters gathered in many other parts of the Bay Area today. And we like today you saw a peaceful gathering, a peaceful protest. But everywhere in the country is not peaceful. It was just we're just trying to bring awareness of what's going on. Well, what I saw is a lot of people, angry people. You know, they want to they want to make their voices heard. And in other places, like he mentioned, that you know people are doing it in a more violent way. But sometimes that's the only way we're heard. But we can't expect violence without violence. No. We always have now, we have not gotten any reports of arrests or violence related to the protests in our area today, but it was a different story for other parts of the country. People were arrested all over the U.S. Minnesota's governor had fully mobilized the state's National Guard for the first time since World War II, as protests in Minneapolis where Floyd was killed happened. He also imposed a curfew. Hundreds in Tampa Bay are also taking to the streets. Our 10 Tampa Bay's Madison Allworth is at a protest in Temple Terrace, where protesters shut down full intersections as they marched. Hundreds of demonstrators have shown up to protest the death of George Floyd and to demand change. Stand up, fight back! Stand up, fight back! Demonstrators started at the Boston Market on Fowler and 56, but started marching toward the Temple Terrace police station. Ultimately, they ended up at the intersection of Fowler and 56th Street North, completely shutting it down. Protesters have signs and chants. Stand up, fight back! Stand up, fight back! And the crowd is made up of people of all different backgrounds. It's a good thing that there's different ethnicities, different races and things out of here. Because I know a lot of people will be like, okay, yeah, we're not black. It's not our problem, but it's everybody's problem. If you see it, it is your problem. Many still feeling the fresh tension of George Floyd's death. The things that were running through my mind is, oh my God, not again. Oh my God, not again. How could this happen again? I'm turning on the news as a black person seeing the things that are happening and it could have been my dad or my brother out there with the knee on his neck while the unarmed man's death happened hundreds of miles away the pain is being felt locally in my opinion there is no local area if cops anywhere don't speak out cops everywhere don't speak out it doesn't matter if it's in tampa it doesn't matter if it's in minnesota it doesn't matter where it is the overall message Protesters want to see change. Seeing all these young people come out here band together, whether it was raining or whether we were hot or whether we were about to pass out and standing up for what we believe in is what matters. And that's why we're chanting Black Lives Matter. 